Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 12. In this video we will cover two questions, one simple and one intermediate question. Without further ado let's kick start. The fourteenth question is, you have to find the schedulable nodes in the cluster, and need to save the name and count of nodes into a file. First, we need to find available nodes. Two nodes are available and both are in ready state. In order to know the schedulable nodes, first we have to check the taints. Yes, we can see the control plane has a non-scheduled taint, so the answer is node 01. Node 01 is the schedulable node in this cluster. As per the question, we need to save this information to slash root slash nodes.txt file. Just fill this answers here. The node name is node 01. The schedulable node count is 1. Just save and exit. This is the end of question number 14. Next we can go to the 15th question. The 15th question is, Please deploy a pod on node 01 as per the below specification. The pod name should be webpod, the container name should be web, and the image should be nginx. You can see, this simple question's weightage is 6%, which means, it is an intermediate question. Let's create the webpod. We need to change the container name to web. Let's apply the YAML file. You can see our pod is in the pending status. Still pending, then check the available nodes. You can see node 01 is in not ready status, which means node 01 has some issues, it may be related to some services such as kubelet, or docker daemon, etc. Let's get into the node 01 using ssh command. Now we are in the node machine. Let's check for the status of kubelet service. You can see the kubelet service is not running, in the examination, if you face this question, then first you need to restart the service. If it is not working, then only you need to check for the configuration settings. Let's try for starting the service. Let's check the status again. It is not started, so it is definitely related to the wrong configuration settings.
This is the path of the configuration of cubelet. In the examination, they may add some wrong paths in this file, so you have to verify whether these paths are correct or not. I'm taking this path first. I can see this path does not exist. Cubelet is actually located in the bin folder, not in the local folder. Let's edit the configuration file. Just remove the local from the path. Just save and exit. Let's start the service again. We are getting a warning that tells us to reload the daemon service first so, just run this command for restarting the daemon. Ok let's start again. Let's check the status again. Yes, now it is running, now our node can schedule the pods, so let's exit from node 01 first. Ok, now we are in the control plane. Let's delete our pod. Ok. Our nodes are in the ready state now, actually, we don't need to delete the pod, it will be scheduled on node 01 as soon as the node is available, unfortunately I deleted the pod. So let's redeploy the pod. You can see our pod is running, and now it is scheduled on node 01. Thank you for watching this video, in the next video, we will cover some cluster troubleshooting scenarios, if you felt this video is useful for your preparation then, please do like and subscribe.